What is going on everybody? Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eric and if you're new here, what's going on? Today we're going to talk about some cameras. More specifically, we're going to talk about one of my absolutely most favorite, most underrated cameras that I have today in my Polaroid collection. And that is going to be this guy right here, the Polaroid 1600. Woo! This looks like something super crazy futuristic and I'm excited to talk to you about it today. But before we go any further, on this channel I help photographers improve their skills and their knowledge when it comes to anything that has to do with Polaroid and instant photography. So if that's something that interests you, you should definitely consider subscribing. Go ahead, I'll wait. Did you do it? Cool, let's get into the video. If you have been around my channel once or twice before, maybe you've seen some of my videos before, you know that I've mentioned how much I adore the Polaroid 1600. I've mentioned it in my top three favorite cameras that you can check out right here, um, but I really, really love it. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit why. We're gonna walk through this camera from top to bottom, and um, hopefully, if this is something that you've maybe seen before or you've thought about buying, hopefully that helps you pull the trigger and actually pick this guy up because I'm telling you, you'll love having this camera in your collection. So giving you a little backstory about the Polaroid 1600, this is actually one of the last models that Polaroid designed before they decided to step away from their flagship product, which was making cameras, and more specifically, instant cameras. So uh, these came out somewhere right around 2000, it's some of the last versions of it kind of were around 2002, 2003, and it just screams that early 2000, that Y2K, design. If you look at this, um, there's really not much to it. Again, while it's closed, it is very sleek, which is one of the reasons why I love taking it on the road. Because it's not boxy and because it's not made, again, like a perfect square or a rectangle like some of the other Polaroid cameras, I can set this right into a bag. I can literally save so much space when I have it, um, whether I'm in a backpack or whether I have it in a suitcase or a duffel or my carry-on if I'm on the plane. Um, it's really, really cool. Even if I'm out shooting with my DSLR, again, this doesn't take up much space. So because it is designed so beautifully, in my opinion, it really allows you to save some space and allows you to take Polaroid, take a Polaroid camera with you without having to give up some space that you may have to, you know, that you would need for something else like batteries or more gear or things like that. So the, one of the reasons why I love it so much is because while this camera is closed up, it doesn't take up that much space. The second reason why I love this camera is because it's very easy to use. This is one of the very first models that Polaroid decided that they weren't gonna do um, an exposure meter on when it came to 600 film. Specifically with 600 cameras, you would always have the exposure compensation meter. Essentially what that means is that you would always be given an option to adjust the, the settings between lighter and darker. If there was more light coming into the camera, you could adjust it to where it would take in less light and then vice versa. They always gave you that option on Polaroid cameras. With this one, uh-uh. Really, what you see is what you get and that's really because Polaroid at that point in time, they had been making cameras for over 50 years and they kind of were pretty confident in the fact that they knew what they were doing when it came to the exposure meter. So therefore, again, they didn't add it on there. It has built in um, flash, so that way it's gonna fire every single time that you're gonna take a shot. And so really, I think that's really why they stepped away from adding the exposure meter. It was just one less thing to add. And I think what they realized was that people really weren't messing with it in the first place. This camera is extremely simple to use. As I mentioned before in other videos, if you've been around this channel, this camera's got three buttons. It's got the, the shutter button and it's got two other buttons here. One's gonna adjust the red eye and the other is a self timer. And essentially that is it. Make sure your shot's framed, make sure your subject's in focus, make sure you're not too close and fire a shot. Something as far as a design feature that is interesting about this camera is we have seen Polaroid 600 cameras before only have a hand strap. Well, in my specific model, this one doesn't have it. I don't know if when you bought this camera um, stock from the store, if it came with one, but it just only gives you a tiny little um, space to put a wrist strap. And so if I do want a strap, if I am concerned about maybe dropping this, this guy, I'll just go ahead and stick a wrist strap on so that way I can just have it around my wrist again. But because it's designed so well, it really has never given me issues. I've never really worried about it slipping out of my, my fingers or, or my hands. What is cool about it is unlike some of the other 600 cameras, 
when you fire this camera, you're actually gonna fire it with your thumb. You're gonna hit your thumb to take the shot as opposed to, I mean, I guess you could use your finger, but that feels really, really awkward to me and it always just feels better having your hand down the sign and then firing that shot with your thumb is gonna give you the best shot for me. The film door button is hidden. Again, when you open this camera, you'll get access to the film door button. When you press that, again, drop down and you can load up all of your 600 film. That is 600 film, not eye type. So if you're buying any of the Polaroid Originals film today, it is going to be the film that is in the blue box not any film that is in the yellow box. Essentially, this film needs a battery and we wanna make sure that we get a battery loaded up into this guy so that way we're good to go and we're not gonna buy the wrong film and waste some money. And there you have it, folks. The Polaroid 1600, a beautiful camera, a simple camera, one of my favorite Polaroid cameras that I have today in my collection. But I wanna hear from you. Have you ever used that camera before? Have you ever seen it while you've been out thrifting before? If so, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you use it today. Also, before we go, you can always follow me on Instagram at I'm Eric Brown Jr. And I just started an exclusive members only free Facebook group called Polaroid People. So all you gotta do is search that on Facebook and that way I can get you plugged into a community with instant photographers who love sharing content with each other and we can grow and we can build things together. All right, people, take care.